So one by one, the children started gathering around Maria Montessori. In this way, although she was at the back, the children came from their places and they all gathered around her. She asked them to open their eyes and they were all happy, smiling, very much satisfied. Call the name that woman called. And then, guys, concentration has to be on listening. At that time, all the children responded, but next time she did, there, were, uh, there was a child who did not respond. He did not listen to the son. And when he called, then he did not come. So Mario Montessori took it as a challenge to find out why the child is not responding. And this is one way of finding out if child is having any listening defects. Is there any problem in hearing? It can be detected at an early age and it can be cured. <coughs> Anjum is not responding. Anjum, can you see me? <laughs> see, this is one thing when the child is not responding, it is a matter of concern. You have to find out why that child is not responding and it may be a hearing defect at some time. Thank you. Good. Pegging a basket, sponging elementary, pouring beans from jug to another jug, spooning beans from one bowl to another bowl, turning pages of a book which develops love for book, care for books and also the reading habits which is very necessary in the children. So this turning pages of a book is an indirect uh, preparation for language exercise because while looking into different pictures, the child uh, realizes it has different names, his vocabulary increases. And in the end, in the elementary exercises, we did cutting along the line. After that, we enter into the higher elementary exercises. The actions were more advanced but still simple. And one thing you have noticed that while doing presentation, we were not using words. The rule is present when you do not speak and speak when you do not present. Your actions should be enough to convey the message to the child. Because the, the child is continuously looking into your actions, he is learning more. So no unnecessary movements were there, no unnecessary words were there in the presentation. In higher elementary exercises, we did spooning beans into number of containers, pouring water into number of glasses. And these both exercises indirectly prepares a child for maths because the child learns how to distribute, how to divide into glasses, into spoons uh, with the help of beans. Then later on, we have done use of dropper and use of funnel. And these two exercises help the child indirectly in <clears throat> science experiments, indirect preparation for culture. So those, these exercises we have done in the elementary group. Okay, so that was one group completed. Now the child is developing confidence to handle the things. He is getting a base for the further exercises. And whatever he has learned in this base, first group, like holding a tray, that will be used in later exercises. Once the child has got the confidence, he can carry on the next stage better. And the next stage is the personal care. Personal care, we introduced all the dressing frames which are important for the child to be independent. The dressing frames are of a fixed size, 12 by 12 inches, and they have the different type of fastenings. One frame will have only one type as we have shown you. The zip frame has only one zip which the child would practice opening and closing. After that we have the different types of buttons, buckles and safety pin and the age is progressing slowly after every frame. The first one was the zip frame and the age was this for this was about two and a half years because the child's movements are still developing so it is just one movement at a time it is a smooth movement of moving the zipper up and down 
but as the child is getting pro more and more confidence and hand control coordination is developing we introduce the other dressing frames by the time child is four and a half and above then we introduce the frame of safety pin it is called the safety pin frame here the child has to have full control on his hand movements coordination is well developed so he can handle the safety pin besides the dressing frames the child is using these things in daily life also if you take the example of the zip the child is using it in his bags many bags have the zip system so child if he can handle the zip of the frame he can also do it of his school bag then we have the buttons child can independently dress himself up he can close the buttons of his shirt and if by accident some button opens or it slips out he can close by himself instead of just moving around like that then okay so these are the different dressing frames and the child is learning how to be independent how to handle the situation by himself then child is learning how to polish his shoes we have the comic hair exercise we have the what else so polishing shoes washing hands brushing teeth all these things are being taught to the child and child is learning to be independent in these activities then we come to the next group which is the next group grace and courtesy what is the grace and courtesy exercises where you learn how to deal with others you are not alone you are with a group and others have some rights also so we have to be graceful and courteous show our courtesy while dealing with others when you are walking in a line you have to wait for your turn you have to move about quietly that standing in the queue does not mean that you will push somebody and move ahead it has to be done according to the line one next person will go then the other person will move ahead table manners so when the child is eating we should have the proper way of doing things do not fill up your plate too much take whatever is whatever is required eat quietly without munching sound not too much talking during eating because then the concentration is on talking and the sound comes which is not good manners eat quietly gracefully and when you have finished it must be a empty plate do not leave food on the plate things have to be done in a way which is according to the ways which is familiar with that if you are using your hands always wash your hands wipe your hands before leaving the table these are little things which are being implemented by different ways in which we can maintain our environment environment is your surroundings and you have to take care of it just as we take care of our home and we make the things neat and tidy same way the classroom environment should also be maintained it is a special environment for the child it is called the prepared environment and its preparation is not only the setting up but to maintain it at all times it should be neat clean dust free and the teacher and the children they will have to maintain it the directress will do the dusting and she will involve the children from time to time they are also part of that activity they will clean while children are doing but it is for the coordination of the hand movements it is for the child to develop the sense of cleanliness because once the child sees the dirty thing and then the clean thing they will realize the difference otherwise it is not so easy to explain in words when you see a crack in the child although the teachers can maintain the environment they can do it within minutes but to involve the child to have that love and care for that environment they are involved so we will show the child how to carry the chair properly how to fold the napkins once the child learns, keep on doing things even after he is being stopped so our aim as a directress should be that we encourage the child 
not discourage the child at any stage but under supervision child will do everything which is within the limits so that was the final words for epl presenting epl for the last two days and have been really working hard to kindly come up here and yeah if you are comfortable here slide slide woni chahiye hai kya aap kahan aaye hain ye kahan hai wo kahan hai line badaiye where is farhana short aa gaya hai sath piche nobody ha you can move till to the side they are the ones sir said they were not the ones but they are the ones lmi has created right so let's give them now the best clapping we can clap in your life all volunteers will be awarded but epl was something something special and we all um i'll give the mic to sir shamim sir you don't want to say anything right now okay i'll say but okay okay your views as a volunteer what do you do? Uh, yes okay let's ha okay um are you a volunteer can you tell me what it means to be a volunteer tell um, everybody Uh, as a volunteer, I uh, am working. We are working very hard, and uh, the, for our branch, uh, and especially Ma'am Amina uh, is very supporting and caring uh, teacher. And we are very blessed that uh, Ma'am Amina is our teacher. Uh, all right, all volunteer. You will just give your opinion about how it felt, what it means to be a volunteer. Is it hard work? Yes. How did you manage? Very well managed, ma'am. Very well managed. Or did you enjoy doing this? Yes, absolutely, ma'am. Keep passing on the mic. It's very uh, large responsibility, and you uh, manage very well. It's a very tough. Uh, uh, responsibility and uh, uh, and the best the best देने की कोशिश की है कि बिकॉज एज अमीना की इज्जत का था एंड लेकिन हमने ओवरऑल got different chance but this time I get the opportunity to work with मैम मेहर Yes, we have done before also, and this time again we are together. Uh, who Amina is today is just because LMI, and LMI has made me a star, me the little one. But it is a little star somewhere in the sky, and uh, I was a student just like you, sitting and listening the lectures, making illustrations, making different things. But now, just the position of the chair turns. Now I am on this side and you are on this side. What I advise you is to just keep your heart working, and uh, there are ups and downs in everybody's life. But just stick into your ambition, in your mission, and one day you will be successful. was such a nice with bhadrabad and gulshan we just made it together there's nothing like all the work has gulshan has done or all the work bhadrabad we were team and we are still the team till the end of the workshop and you will see that together how can we can just create a magic and just uh, you can see it over here in the hall it's not the efforts of my branch or it's not the effort of any one branch we thank you for all your cooperation all my students my volunteers everybody has been very good very hard working and this time the students response was that they were seated in the chairs which is a great achievement for us that they were watching uninterrupted and i really appreciate your involvement thank you for being such a wonderful 
group of students for us and our to our guests. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Last but not least, I forgot to say this famous line of mines that we are all gathered here because of three reasons. And the first reason is of course God Almighty. If we were not born, if we, He didn't want us to be here, we could never be here. And then the second reason is Dr. Maria Montessori. Because if she was not born and if there was no Montessori system, we will not be here. And the third, for us, the most important reason is LMI. If LMI wasn't there, if Sir Shamim was not born, just think, would there be this? No. One man has created all this. So, last but not least, let's hear some important words from Sir Shamim.
लेकिन लेकिन इस स्टेज पर इस स्टेज पर ये एक्सपोजर बहुत अच्छा है और ये हमें बताता है ये हमें हमें बतला रहा है हमें बेसिकली इस अभी अंजुम सही कह रही है अभी तो पार्टी शुरू हुई है तो ये चीजें आप लोग सीख रहे हैं देख रहे हैं और मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है आप बिलीव नहीं करेंगे कि मेरी वाइफ मुझसे कहती है कहती है कि आपने क्या किया हुआ है आपने पागल किया मैंने कहा कि ये पागल पर नहीं है ये एक जनरेशन को एक नया एक्सपोजर देना उनको अपनी जनरेशन को बेहतर जो है लेकर चलना सो दैट्स दैट आप लोग बहुत कुछ सीख रहे हैं टेल यू बहुत कुछ लेकिन जो एक सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है मैं ये सोचता हूं कभी कभी ए, मैं बहुत सीरियसली सोचता हूं कि मैंने अपने फील्ड को क्यों छोड़ा क्यों छोड़ा 